Have you ever felt like your boyfriend or girlfriend is just looking around the corner at the next person who's going to walk by? Well, we're going to cover this because this is Generation Next. So something I've seen a lot of recently is Generation Next. It's kind of a common term among my generation. As I'm 22 years old, I'm sure most of my viewers are about around my age. Why are we called Generation Next? Today we're going to talk about attraction. Men expect women to look like supermodels. That's obvious. We've seen that from the last so many years of men turning a corner and looking at a woman going, oh, not skinny enough. Oh, not pretty enough. Oh, your hair's not long enough. Oh, your boobs aren't big enough. Well, it shouldn't be that way. We'll get to that later, but this is how men perceive women. Women do the same thing for men. You see, from my perspective, I've seen a lot of women who tell me, well, they don't like my beard. They don't like my chest hair. They certainly don't like the fact that I don't have a six pack. I might be kind of muscular, but I'm not in the greatest shape because I'm concerned with being healthy. But I'm not here to defend me. I'm here to defend other men because it's not a two-sided argument. Women aren't the only ones that are persecuted for their looks. Men are expected to look like actors. It's just how it is. Men have to be perfect in every way. We have to have the best personality, the best looks, and we can't ever falter or be sad. And this seems to be something I've come across a lot in the recent time. So how are we going to fix this? For the men, stop looking for the next attraction. If a woman's with you, chances are she wants to be with you is why she's there. I can't count the amount of times I've seen couples walking through the store holding hands or arm around their necks or however they want to do it, and they're both head on a swivel looking around for the next person that they're attracted to. Why? They're together. Isn't that enough? Apparently not. I've, I've been guilty of this myself, I won't lie. In the past, especially, I've always looked for the next big attraction. The next person that I thought was gorgeous. The next person that I thought had a great personality. But why should I be concerned with the next person when I'm with the person? I'm not now, but we've all had that person that we see everything in that we want. And yes, maybe things outside of the fact come in to destroy it. But it shouldn't be because you're searching for the next big thing. Us as Generation Next, we've encountered a lot of this in our time. Everything's about the next big thing. The biggest key I've noticed nowadays is the next attraction. It's always that way. Our generation is very similar to Tinder. You can just keep swiping right and meet a dozen people. That's about it. That's how we live our lives and that's how we go about our days. We're always looking for the next attraction. We're always looking for the next gorgeous face, the next perfect body. But we never stop and think about what's inside of their mind. I've met plenty of people who had supermodel style bodies, but I would never have dated them. I would have never been associated with them. They were shitty people. We need to stop focusing on attraction physically. Physical attraction is important to a degree because from one thing I've learned is that physical attraction can develop based off of personality. But once that physical attraction is gone, it never comes back. So we're always associated with that, but looks change. Men won't always have a six pack. Chances are they might when they're young, but as they reach their 40s or 50s, it's going to be gone. And if you're with someone that's like that, then why are, you, why are you with them if that's all you want? And the same goes for men towards women. You know, when a woman has a baby, their body doesn't just instantly snap back to how it was before. Looks change, and we have to accept that. One thing that doesn't change is personalities. It evolves, and varies, but we're just evolving into what we are destined to be. And I'm not one that believes in destiny, but that's how it seems to be to me. So what can we do to fix it? We need to stop judging people from the first sight. Attraction is extremely important, yes, 
but I see people walking around with their heads on a swivel and they're with someone else. If you're going to be that type of person, have the heart to end it soon rather than later. Just because you're not physically attracted to someone doesn't mean that they're the perfect person for you. Because if you're not physically attracted to someone, well, make an exercise pact. I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying that you should just give up all your attractions and go for the person that you find just nasty. But I am saying we need to be more open-minded about who we talk to. Now, if I'm in a bar and I see two women that I don't know anything about, and one's attractive to me and the other one's not, chances are I'm going to talk to the attractive one on my own terms. But I don't care how you look if you're the one who approaches me. I'm willing to give just about anyone a shot because I want to find someone that I can connect to on a much deeper level. Physical appearances change, mental appearances don't. And us as Generation Next, we're always going for the next big thing. We're always going for the next physical attraction, the next hookup. And we never stop to think about the many people that we walk all over and hurt on our path to this. I want to see a change. I'm not attacking anyone here because I'm guilty of it myself. But I think it's something we all need to be aware of and we need to confront this demon and tackle it together. Used to relationships were built on mutual respect. Nowadays they're built on attraction. That mutual respect is gone simply because I can go swipe on Tinder to find someone I'm more attracted to the next day just because we had an argument. But it shouldn't be that way. We should talk about it. Work through our problems. Instead of searching for the next attraction. I urge all of you to be a little more conscious about the decisions you make. A little more conscious about who you approach and why, just why you're with a specific person. I'm Mr. Bull897, a member of Generation Next, and I'm going to be signing out.